First, I uh, have to turn off here. My, my dehumidifier turned in, into a heat pump. Yeah, some videos about here that's the water from the cellar. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's warm air blowing. So, to get be more silent because uh, I have lots of solar panels by now. Uh, it's going to be even more, and, and so you see, need to get rid of uh, the energy. Uh, here, it's the last days. Okay. I proudly want to show you uh, my uh, new online compiler. Uh, here, you can see it, but, but let's restart it. Because you see here, yeah, you can go to my old compiler. Uh, and, and it's, but really there's there's no use, uh, need to use it only if you maybe hear these old presets, but they only works for the Niklas firmware anyway. And I uh, encourage everyone to, to choose the Emanuel Ferru uh, FOC because it's, wow, it's like having a new motor and so, yeah. Uh, but you see here that's uh, since last, uh, that's, that's a new version. Uh, and you see, uh, where, whereas here that's the old version, okay, there's still changes, you see, today, 20, 25th, you see two times compilations for the old, and the old one is, is it's a new index uh, file, so you only find it if you go here. And, uh, yeah, I've, I've made this IDE here on, uh, didn't really want to do it, but, mm, okay. <laughs> I have put it on GitHub, you see a complete a simple IDE, um, open source uh, for everyone. You basically put this into your uh, index file and you have then such a nice editor like this one here with a home page and it comes with a simple configuration file. Uh, uh, you can start with a password empty. Uh, S files, oh, int interesting. <laughs> Yeah, that's the last changes. Yeah, the cursor positions are, 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 are saved. And you see null null means I haven't yet saved this file. So let's try this. Uh, what's, it was a test two. So here test two. Uh, remove the robo string s to save it. And if we now, uh, then you see it's still null null. Mm. I uh, don't know why, but that's not the, the issue here, and we need to 50 minutes. This is the homepage PHP that you are seeing here. Uh, uh, and here you have uh, this um, root original, that's the code you're working on. And here you see log and text file, these are allowed. So if you now, you see if a PHP, that's a file, <laughs> the system is working. If you write error and, and, and then see a save all, you get this message that php file not allowed. yeah so yeah it's a nice simple uh, editor uh, and 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 this cursor saving uh, is working as you quickly will see here here permanent storage perhaps people uh, say oh, someone uh, is, is, is stealing my code and, and so but <laughs> this is uh, something like a token you see uh, if it, it, it's a password and you should keep it confident and of course I could could <laughs> access to the server and then you choose here the, the firmware that's here the Emanuel Ferru that I've been working on a lot uh, yesterday and then you see automatically four files are opened and I want to explain you a bit how these files are saved on my server so you are more confident that when you come back three months later and then yes your code will still be there and you see, that's why I showed you here this uh, say s root org. That's um, where those files are originally stored. But the root save can be a different folder. And so here, let's go to my server. It is uh, here the robo, uh, not the real robot, it's the uh, Emanuel Ferru. And so the org folder, that's really um, the, all the files, I see that you could work on, and these are the files that uh, are shown here to the left. But when you are opening a file and you save it, then these uh, changes, they go into the new folder. And here it's only the ink 
folder. Uh, it's not Robo42, it's, it's, it's the org folder and the new folder should also contain a, not only the ink with the config age. This is automatically um, always um, created as new because you need to edit it. Uh, but the source that's optional and we <coughs> see these three files. And these are exactly these three files that has been opened here. And you see uh, what, what I want to show you that's very nice. You see here the util, the cursor position, that's where I stopped yesterday. <laughs> Or uh, after three months, you see a uh, silly, stupid bug, and they don't want to uh, admit that it's a bug because they are the groups. Okay. <laughs> you see, that uh, they agreed that there should be only a case one and two. Later, they admitted there could be a case zero, but only if the EEPROM storage gets corrupted. And so a default um, in, a, in a switch clause should only be, well, if it's some. So un, un, uh, some unpredictable and so it should be an error code and, and not simply setting the speed to zero because two months two weeks ago from one flash into the other perhaps because I did not uh, put uh, shorted the, the, the power on button and so it corrupted uh, the EEPROM for calibration but uh, we see new art serial communication I never had the idea that I uh, would ever need, uh, make use of, of uh, calibration store and suddenly uh, this lead to okay just want to show you here uh, the cursor is saved even uh, if you come the next uh, back next day uh, if you here now go to the compile and go back uh, then the selection is still there you see this is something if you go here and, and there then the selection uh, is is lost I could add it but it's here <laughs> Uh, first, you see, I uh, want a bit about what what it's what you could do when compiling. You see, when I found the bug, I could override them, but uh, I also then uh, went to the main uh, and added here this, uh, <coughs> these not not these. Uh, where are these external here? You see, you can uh, add every variable that's somewhere in in another file that's not accessible to the main C. Uh, you can simply add it here as an X term and, and then you can also use it here and, and now I have you see the, the string F and string D string G do not work because it's a browser and, and so the, that's a bit of a shame so okay uh, here the, the feedback uh, then you can override the, the feedback with these values here uh, and, and so then I could get some debug output of uh, and see that this uh, data was really corrupted and so if you have a serial combination communication then it makes this feedback uh, if you have uh, just a um, serial debug output then there is somewhere this uh, set serial debug uh, function don't find it right now as you can see, you can really choose uh, lots uh, of open tabs. They are saved. Then you go to the compile, uh, and, and then you can here compile at your own risk. I want to show you this compile uh, with another. Uh, so, uh, a source because my object oriented firmware that I really wish uh, someone would help me to get a. Because I already. Uh, succeeded in, in making it compile uh, a C++ object. Uh, here, uh, I all succeeded. You see a class point and, uh, and, and it's a class complex that is derived from, from, from the class point and it's compiling, yeah. But I, I guess uh, you see the old C++, uh, old C code, it, it has this entry point, the, the, main, uh, the, the main function and I, I, I remember that uh, with C++ there's another entry function and, Maybe that's why it's not working. And there is a speed function uh, with, with this firmware. So if someone uh, could please uh, he's just choose this object oriented and, and um, then flash it on the hoverboard and make the hoverboard beep. And then I could see, okay, now I know how to um, start up this code and then I really might be very happy to, to port the Emanuel firmware to some object oriented structure. <coughs> Okay, I wanted to show you here to compile your code. Uh, no, <laughs> again, 
uh, the, the, the wrong. It was uh, because I wanted to show you what happens when um, you come back three months later and suddenly the repository on GitHub has, has an update and will it be compatible to, to your code? And, and so I think it was a robot derm uh, fork from, from Emmanuel Eperu. And you see here, you already get an update in VR and go to the compile and in the compile you get here, update your old code, invalidate that's don't know, I have never updated it. You can update it uh, to, the, to the latest version and the step can be undone. And so you see, I, I want to show you what this means. So uh, back to the robo, uh, robo don firmware hook here, uh, no. Yeah, exactly. So you see the org folder, uh, that's where the original code lies. And, and the new folder, that's where your changes uh, reside. And when you compile, um, the first the org folder is fully copied onto the original cloned uh, GitHub where all the compiling is done. And afterwards, all the stuff in new, you see here that's uh, only the ink file, is then over, overrides the original. So if this original is three months old, uh, okay, you're compiling an old version uh, of this uh, Git uh, repository with your changes. But you see here now already uh, there's a new version. It's, it's also the same core, all, all these files. And if I now here hit the button, update your old source, uh, then, and now your three months old, uh, uh, um, source that you were working on, it is uh, moved to the undo, undo. So you see here is uh, all again the entire source. And your, your new, your own stuff, it's still the same, the config. Yeah? So, but the, after the original was moved to undo, then the original new, uh, the new repository then is, is copied into the org folder. And then you, well, you can test it. You see, um, simply here, um, okay, compile does not work. You have to choose a name. And also this name is saved uh, on, on my server. So when you come back three months later, you know, still have uh, these, uh, you should give them long names. So if you have multiple, then you know what, what compilation, what firmware it is. <coughs> Try it and if it works, then you can be happy, but it could be that here in the config, uh, there's a missing some define and, and therefore um, get an error, compilation error. And then, yeah, you can still undo it. And then the undo folder here is uh, be copied back to the original and, and you still have the original new, so you can try again. Uh, but it's really safe um, to, to test your um, old um, code with the latest version. Of course, you can delete, but um, you see, um, be careful because then everything is gone and you see the permanent storage, so you don't be afraid <laughs> that you have lost the control over yourself. And yeah, the, I just wanted to mention this here. <coughs> Uh, this this update in in Andu that maybe I, I would like to to add a split screen and two editors so you could compare um, this um, old the source code that you are working on with the source code that uh, is the latest uh, and and but um, for this uh, okay now I think we have the Emmanuel firmware or, or, or the fork you see uh, I want to can show you here the, the it's, it's, you see, an if def, uh, it's okay, because this is only code that applies to a certain variant, and if you are not using it, well, then it's okay. Uh, but but they also, also make use of if n def. It's, you only need to overlook this, this char n, and this is if it's not definite. And so this is code that applies to all variants, but all, not uh, this variant transporter. And so if someone uh, of the developers here makes a change, with ADC in mind, this also applies to to, to, to serial communication, and so it, it is awful. <laughs> As is, you see, all these defines that we are living in the 21st century, uh, and, this ob and object oriented is already 20 years, uh, 30 years old, and and it's these uh, guys still stick. You see, that's okay. STM, that's that was the domain of of just C code. But you see, that's why I'm so proud. You see, okay, there is a, 
where is this uh, object oriented um, test that already has uh, C++ uh, code. Oh, no, I don't have, I'm not allowed to use this because I'm done because it will stop here. And, and so you see, uh, and okay, I want to show you here to compile, so test and hit compile. And 15 seconds, that's approximately, because there's no feedback right now. My server is compiling, and, and so after some time, you get that. And it's it's about 15 seconds, and so <sighs> some from, well, something below, there should appear the result. Here it is. And yeah, especially with Niklas Forsk, I think there are still some warnings, and so, but when you hear below, see here, there's a binary, and the hex file for download, yeah, then you got very likely a, a working firmware. And yeah, over 10,000 compilations uh, since two years, one year. And you see here, yeah, here's this little donate button. Uh, that's really only because you see, I uh, invested an ent entire week for, 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 for doing so. So if you, uh, uh, you don't have to. That's, I don't like these uh, oh, free open source, but uh, you should donate. And so, yeah, I, that only only motivates me to enhance. So if you are happy with as it is right now, and you just, you see, it's, it doesn't take that much resources to, to, to keep it online, you see. So if you're just happy with that, then don't donate. But if you would, would like um, me to get motivated to make a split screen with two editors or or maybe save, uh, or not only save the cursor position, uh, but but also the, uh, the, the, the selections uh, over a month, and then yeah, you are free to, to donate a bit, but it's it's really, it's, I just edit it because you see I was, just took me uh, two minutes, whereas all the other stuff took so long, and it was really, I did not want it to, to create my own uh, IDE. You see, but I did not find it, and so okay, I did it, and so yeah, it's nice, and really, yeah, I, it's, it's cool. Uh, can I show you this? Uh, you see, that's the hover, that's my hoverboard. You see, it's only here above, it's a hover JS, hover CSS, so hover JS file, and here only uh, again a container uh, to make this object from of class hover and in the hover uh, there is no that's the server side uh, here there there you only define your editor and, and you pass your own config file and and then you you can easily put such an ID into your project what whatever you like and you see that that's here all that's all because you can uh, you can reuse um, the code that I've developed for the IDE. You see, there's a server communication. You see, that's um, MOIDE. So that's a function that's from you normally used from my IDE. But you can also use it for your project. You just need to uh, to pass a, a different a server script to be executed, and you have to to give it uh, here the uh, a callback. So when the, it's everything done, then you. Uh, may want to do also some stuff that's only specific to this hoverboard compiler. So here's the server response. For example, here this um, repo dates for different, that's something specific to my online compiler and not so the IDE. But uh, all this is a framework, you uh, see, uh, like saving files or um, making this, this a server communication. And, so here that's a server communication. It's also, that's, that's the entire stuff. And this is uh, basically here, the, the biggest here is uh, the checking for the source. And yeah, that uh, can I also uh, comment on where is it? Uh, here. That's an ordinary command line, git, git commands. I have installed git on my server and I can clone and I can fetch and I could also, uh, I think I could um, make pull requests. So people really could, um, you could online, um, if you want to make changes to, to, to Emile of Heru and you don't have um, some framework at home, you can really develop it on, with the online compiler and uh, I could probably add a, a, make a pull request. 
so that you could really um, contribute code to, to the existing um, heroes of, of, of firmwares, Hoverboard firmwares. Okay, that's it. Here, again, you see, if you want, here on my GitHub, there's a simple IDE and, and this uh, online compiler really I encourage everyone not to use the old one is here, which is not really on, there's, there's, there's no reason to, to, to use the old one. You see it's, but you see may, maybe really mostly people only need the config file and, but still you need to copy and paste it to, to, to somewhere on your hard disk so that you can um, come back to it. And, and so it's, it's really, it's, it's far more nicer to, to with my online ID. Okay. Bye-bye and have fun.